Mobile County Public Schools presents Homeroom. Hi and welcome to Homeroom, where we introduce you to the educators and the students who make Mobile County Public Schools the best district in the state of Alabama. I'm going to talk to you today about our career tech programs. I'm your host Renee Phillips, by the way, and joining us for this first segment, we have Larry Mouton, who is the Assistant Superintendent for Workforce Development. So that entails career tech and several other programs, but tell us what is career tech? Well, career and technical education in the old days was called vocational ed and people are familiar with shop class and such as that, but nowadays it's so much more. We make sure that our students who go through the program are well prepared to move into post-secondary success and that may be through welding, auto shop, drafting, engineering, nursing, health care, literally any type of career that a student's interested in pursuing, we have the foundational skills taught in our schools to make sure they can be successful. Okay, because in Mobile County Public Schools, we say our purpose is to equip and empower college and career ready graduates. So you're the career part. Absolutely, and career, let's be honest, college, the purpose of college is for a career. Mm -hmm. So in our engineering programs, for example, in our healthcare programs, we want students to go into a two-year or four-year program. So we want to make sure they have those math and science skills as well as the technical skills so they can ease into a program and not be intimidated by all the language, the vernacular in particular area, et cetera. So if a student doesn't want to go into uh, directly into college, well then we're going to make sure we put them into a training program, whether it be JROTC, if they're interested in going into the military or interested in leadership, or again, in our many trades programs, to give them those skills so that they can do on-the-job training, apprenticeship, internship. But the key is building confidence in students mm -hmm. and for our industry partners to be confident in us that we're preparing a quality graduate. That's right. And so how many students participate in Career Tech and what types of programs do you have? You know, people are amazed that we have over 10,000 students every year in Mobile County Public Schools take one or more Career and Technical Education course. And that includes everything from Business Ed, where we certify them as Microsoft Office Specialist, you know, Adobe, we have TV production, you know, we have healthcare, we have certified nursing assistant, patient care tech, we have engineering programs, biomedical programs, uh, culinary programs, we have early child care programs, we have welding, we have manufacturing, we have engineering, as I said. Um, we literally have everything a student could possibly want to do for a living. We have a training program, and not only a training program, a training program that's directed by an expert in that field, who has experience in that field, who can guide and mentor students so they can be successful and make sure they're making the right decision for their future. Right, because I know one thing that you do is you work closely with business and industry to bring them into our schools and our programs to make sure we're up to date, right? That's so important. Mm -hmm. You know, we work with our colleges to make sure that we're preparing our students academically, mm -hmm. that they have the good skills so they can go in and become college graduates. Well, when we started to develop career and technical education in the last 20 years, we started to reach out to industry and say, what exact skills do you need for our graduates to have to come into your workplace? What equipment are they using in your area, in the region around Mobile? Because we're really not terribly concerned about what's going on in California or even North Alabama. We want to take our best and brightest and most motivated students and make sure they have the skills to work at Austell or Otocampu Steel or ThyssenKrupp all these industries around us or our many hospitals and medical areas. So the instruction that we have is authentic and the students use the equipment and reach out into industry, go out in industry, have internships, externships, and bring partners in to talk to our students to make sure we're on the right path. And I know you work closely with those business leaders, so what has been their reaction to our emphasis on career tech and, and what we're doing? You know, Industry is surprised and pleased. You know, we have a great group of supervisors that you'll meet that go out and work with industries and develop these uh, relationships because success is about relationships. We bring them into our schools and show them here's the equipment we're using and we take their advice through advisory councils and committees that we make purchases and skill the students up. So they could not be more pleased with what we're doing in Mobile County Public Schools. And I'll tell you, this is not necessarily what's going on around the country. You know, over the last 30 years, we've put so much focus on a four-year college degree that we've taken away from 
the reality, which is that 70% of the kids don't utilize, 70% of the economy does not require a four-year degree. So we're making sure that our students are well prepared, again, to go to college and be successful, or to go directly into a training program through a career of their choice. And I know I've been around the school system about 20 years. You were a teacher, a principal, and now in this role. Have you seen the perception of career tech change in that time? Absolutely. You know, when I started in career and technical education, and I was a physics and chemistry teacher in the old days, and, you know, the perception was that vocational ed or career tech was for those other kids. Well, when you bring your automobile to the shop and you're paying $95 an hour for somebody to work on your car, you want to make sure that they're well qualified, successful, intelligent, focused. So that same expectation we have for a kid who's going to college to get advanced degree, we have that same expectation of commitment to that craft so we can produce a quality student and support our economy and our community. And a quality career that actually, you know, I'm a communication person, you're an educator, they can make more money than we do, can't oh, they? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm always amazed and that you know, I've got kids that are coming out going to work in the steel mill. We've got kids coming out of high school, in Citronelle in particular, that are going directly into the steel industry out of high school making $22 an hour. $22 an hour converts to about, with overtime, $60,000 a year right out of high school. That's pretty darn good. That is very good. I'm sure the parents are happy yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So we had to break for commercial, but when we come back, I'm going to introduce you to some of our supervisors who oversee these career technical programs and who are making sure that our students are college and career ready. So stay tuned for Homeroom. What's the matter, baby? You're not feeling good? School-aged children are at a higher risk of getting and spreading germs and viruses. To help protect the spread, students are encouraged to stay home when sick. Parents, it's important for your child to remain at home at least 24 hours after they no longer have a fever of 100 degrees or higher without the use of medications. Please help us maintain a healthy learning environment. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today we are learning about our career tech program here in Mobile County Public Schools, and I have joining me for this segment Amanda Prowell, who is the supervisor of Signature Academies and Work-Based Learning. Did I get that right? You did. Okay, so tell <laughs> us, what does that mean? Well, the Signature Academies are small learning communities in Mobile County Public Schools where students are able to take what they're learning in their academies, which vary from school to school, and they apply it to real-world experience. We like to say we prepare our students to be college and career ready so that's being able to provide them with the skill set that they need that, and they can utilize once they graduate. Um, Work-based learning is providing students the opportunity to go into the workforce while they're still in high school so there are several opportunities for students to be able to utilize work-based learning. They can actually uh, get out of school a half day and be able to go and work in various um, industries. They're also able to tie work-based learning into their, ac their academy courses or even some of the career tech courses that they have. They have the opportunity to include work based learning into those programs as well. Okay, so let's talk about the Signature Academies. I know when I talk to people from other school districts, they are amazed that we have a program where we have 12 high schools mm -hmm. and each high school has a specialty mm -hmm. and any student can transfer into any school based on what they want to do, right? That's right. Um, we, we vary from anything from coastal studies to aviation and aerospace. So every high school, we like to think of them as a unique opportunity for students to explore careers. So the students have the opportunity to apply to any school in Mobile County that has the uh, the career field that they're interested in pursuing upon graduation. And what we like to say about the Signature Academy is it helps students to learn about a career field whether they're, uh, that they're interested in while they're still in high school and it saves them time and money because it's a valuable lesson if they learn that they love that career, but it's also valuable that if they learn that that's not for them before they go off to school and spend a lot of time, money and energy in something that they, they realize they're not interested in. That's right, because it's kind of like a major, it is. but they don't have to pay for it, college it to, to learn it. And, and I've heard the analogy that sometimes they think they want to go into health care, mm -hmm. but they don't like blood or anything like that, so they don't want to do it, right? That's exactly right. And so being able to have these various opportunities provides them the opportunity to go in and see what's available in that career field and say, you know what, I love this or this is not what I thought it was and I need to try and find something else. And we do allow students the opportunity to change their uh, academy because if you go to college and that's not what you're interested in, you can change your major. So we do allow them to change their academy to something mm -hmm. that they believe that they may be interested in. And on the flip side, we have a lot of students who 
find out what they're passionate about and good at. And they're earning these career credentials, right? About 12,000 a year? Yes, and what helps the students is they, a lot of times they explore careers that they think that they're not interested in and they end up loving and enjoying it and they, it, they find that that's their calling and if we didn't have these opportunities for them through career tech, they would have never found that passion. Okay, and so what are our signature academies? We have 12 high schools, let's try to, <laughs> let's try to name them. Oh, this is gonna be fun. At Baker, we have AP Capstone. At Blunt, we have the Advanced Health Care's Career, Career Academy. Um, at Alma Bryant, we have Coastal Studies. Um, at Citronelle, there's Advanced Manufacturing. Davidson has Epic and IB. LaFleur has Law, Arts, and Health Sciences. Mary Montgomery has Biomedical. Um, let's see, Mary Murphy, Ma Murphy has uh, their, uh, University Center through the University of Alabama, as well as IB. Uh, Rain has aviation and aerospace. The uh, Theodore has uh, engineering and industry. Viger is information technology, and Williamson is maritime engineering and entrepreneurship. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to quiz all our viewers on that. And so it's such a wide variety, right? And it's things that are interesting in, in our communities that we have, like coastal studies, aviation, mm -hmm. like things that go right along with what Mobile meets, right? That's right. We tried to make sure that we looked at our, when schools began the academy implementation, implementation process, we looked at the area surrounding the schools so we could decide on what academy would best fit the area that this school services. So we were able to do research and see which industry would be best fit to the school. And so the academy specialists are phenomenal with being able to work with the business partners and make sure that the students are in business and industry because we want them to tie what they're learning in the academy to what they do in business and industry. But it provides several opportunities for students to be successful. And the other part of your job is work-based learning. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Um, that means being able to provide students the opportunity to go into business and industry. So that's where a lot of the internships or even job shadowing and co-op opportunities come into place because they come out of their career tech classes, they utilize what they're learning in those courses, and they're able to apply them into the workforce. So actual on-the-job experience. Exactly. And are they paid? Most of the positions are paid. There are some opportunities like job shadowing where students just want to go into that career field to see if it's what they want to do. So a lot of those opportunities are not paid, but they can sometimes lead to paid job opportunities. And I know we've had interns at MCPSS TV. Mm -hmm. Where else do they go out to? I know they go to some of the engineering firms. Mm -hmm. We work with engineering firms. Autoconfu is a big uh, partner. Austell, uh, Airbus. Um, Mobile Aerospace, which is ST Engineering now. Um, all of those companies, even some of the smaller companies in Mobile County work with us to be able to provide job internships for our students during the summer. So that's what we're gearing up for now is being able to provide those internship opportunities for students in the academies through Mobile County. So are you looking for businesses to participate? We are. We are always looking for businesses that are interested in hiring our students. They come out of the academy programs with um, certifications that they learn through the Career Tech program. So they have a skill set that's very valuable um, even as far as welding there's so many opportunities that the students are afforded through the career tech program so if there are any businesses that are interested in hiring our students even if it's just for a summer internship um, we start at six weeks but if you want to go longer we're more than welcome to explore those opportunities but yes we who should they them. contact they can contact myself amanda prowl and my email is a prowl p-r-o-w-e-l-l at mcpss.com. Okay, and if a student wants to do an internship, they just talk to their teachers at the school? They reach out to the academy specialist and there's an application process that they'll go through Go through with the uh, academy specialist. Okay, well that sounds fantastic, like a great <laughs> opportunity for our kids. It is, it okay. is. Well, thank you for what you do. We have to break for commercial, but when we come back, we're gonna talk to some of the specialists who oversee our career technical programs in Mobile County Public Schools. So stay tuned for Homeroom. Hi, I'm Todd. And I'm Terry, and we'd like to invite you to join us as we take a look at nature in ways that you've never seen before. Come travel with us as we go coast to coast to uncover some of the most interesting animals. And some of the most beautiful scenery that's offered outdoors. You can join us on our nature adventures right here on the MCPSS TV network. At Mobile County Public Schools, we believe it starts with us. That's why we offer Signature Academies. I'm Tracy Tran, and I'm in the Healthcare and Dental Academy at Theodore High School. In the Dental Academy, I'm working alongside dental professionals getting hands-on training from those already working in the industry. 
Shadowing them on the job makes me want to work even harder because now I know what I want to be. Signature Academies are open to all students in Mobile County Public High Schools. To find out more, visit mcpss.com. Hi, and welcome back to Homeroom. Today we're learning about our career technical education programs in Mobile County Public Schools, and we have about 10,000 students who participate in dozens of programs. And because it's so large, we have four different supervisors who oversee the various programs. So joining us for this segment, I have two of those supervisors. I have Danielle Booth and Juanita Ville. So thank you for joining us on Homeroom. And let's start with you, Danielle, on the couch. Um, so what programs do you supervise? So for Mobile County Public Schools, I supervise the culinary program, agri-science program, and the tech ed programs in the high schools, and we build it better in the middle schools. Okay, so culinary, I know that's exciting and we've seen some of the competitions. Are, what are our kids learning to cook? What are they doing? Oh, everything you can think of. Um, they learn everything from entrees to appetizers and desserts. Uh, they work with pastries. I even have uh, some classes that are working on gumbos this week mm -hmm. um, and king cakes. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. And then what'd you say the other ones were? Career tech education? So or? tech ed, mm -hmm. th those are uh, like carpentry and welding. Um, and then I'm also over agri-science. Okay, and so the agri-science, is, is that something that we need in Mobile County and that we're preparing kids to do? Definitely, so uh, each of these programs have career uh, and technical uh, student organizations, and so for agri-science it's FFA, Future Farmers of America. And so for each of these CTSOs, they uh, have different competitions. Uh, some are district level, some are at the school level, and some are at the, st at the state level. But all of the programs and the student organizations provide opportunities for students students to not only learn the technical skills but also leadership school uh, skills through those technical uh, programs and professional skills that can transfer uh, from one career to another. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned welding and, and that's a big field in Mobile. It is and so uh, in addition to supervising the programs I also oversee uh, state audits uh, and compliance as well as competitions but then also the Austell pre-apprenticeship program. And what is that? Tell us about the Austell program. So student seniors have an opportunity to uh, apply and interview with Austell for a 12-week pre-apprenticeship program and at the end of those 12 weeks, well during the 12 weeks they are learning everything needed to be successful for that job at Austell. Um, at the end of the 12 weeks they have an opportunity to actually be hired full-time with all benefits. Okay and I know you mentioned the middle school program with We Build It Better yes. and that's neat that we go down to that age and they're learning engineering. So now joining us in our remote studio is Juanita Veal, who oversees our Commerce, Communication, and Information Sciences program in Career Tech. So hi, Juanita. Hi, how are you? I'm great. So I'm tell great. us about Commerce. Okay. In the area of Commerce, in business administration, th what the students are able to do is to learn uh, the concept of computers, the operation of them, the functions, and so forth and they are also able to go out into, after they learn, they can go out into business and industry and get a job straight out of high school. And I love that because they're learning business skills, how to operate a business, how to budget. Correct. That's great. And then you also said communication, which I'm a little partial to here in, in our MCPSS TV studio. So what are our kids learning about communication? Okay. And, uh, com communication comes with information technology and within that area, the students are taught networking skills and so forth. They are also being taught computer science skills in that area as well. And with that being said, with computer science, uh, Go Governor Kay Ivey has this initiative to where she wanted computer science to be taught throughout the state of Alabama. And within that area, the students here in Mobile County, they are learning how to basically do computer science skills and technology and what they do is they are being able to be, go out into and do a competitive events within that area in, in the district, in the state, and as well as nationally. And we do pretty good in those competitions, don't we? I yes, we some awesome. Awards. We have some students in some of the schools that are, have been working really hard to you know, make a grasp at this here and they are doing an awesome job. 
Because I think kids today, they love computers, don't they? And that they, when they realize that it's something they can get a career in and, and they're good at it, is that, is that just something that's fulfilling for you as an educator to see them make that connection? Yes, it is. And, and, I'm, and, and one thing to um, say is that a lot of our students, they have received uh, scholarships with, for Google and actually have gone off to work in, with Google. So, I mean, it, the things that they learn in the classroom are awesome. And we just want to make sure that, you know, everything that they do, that they do it to fidelity. And there are these competitions that you mentioned earlier that they can go to where they're showing off their skills. I know that we've um, recently covered some coding competitions. Yes. Tell us more about those. Like, what, what are they doing and, and what skills are they learning? Okay. in the, the coding, um, that's located at... Davidson High School as well as at MGM High School and those teachers are awesome they're doing an awesome job in doing the coding as uh, because just like I said they are being taught the ins and outs of everything that they they learn in computer science and they are going off to competitions and some of them have already reached national perspective. That college and career ready we were talking about. Yes, well, definitely. We have to break for commercial, but thank you for everything that you're doing for our students. And when we come back, I'll introduce you to more of our supervisors of career tech education in Mobile County Public Schools. So stay tuned. I have known since I was in fourth grade that I was going to be a teacher. I really just truly enjoy coming to work every day and working with different sets of kids and just watching them grow and learn. I couldn't see myself doing anything other than teaching children, being a part of children's lives, being able to inspire them in a way that some people just aren't able to do. And to know that every day is a new day, a new opportunity to make a difference in the child's life means everything to me. I started off at Fondy Elementary, then I went to Azalea Middle School, and then Davidson High School for my high school years. The Mobile County Public School System prepared me for my career by showing me why it was so important to give back. I am involved with the Big Brother Big Sister program and I've been paired with a young boy that was in the third grade and is now finishing up the fourth grade and it gives me an opportunity to give back and help mentor him. Hi and welcome back to Homeroom. Today we are learning about our fabulous career technical programs in Mobile County Public Schools and we have so many programs and so many students participate that we have four supervisors to oversee the various programs. So joining us I have two of those supervisors. I have Terry Moore and Lieutenant Colonel um, Frank Barrow <laughs> who does our JROTC and so let's start with Terry and tell, tell me what do you supervise? What programs? I supervise Health Science Education and Project Lead the Way Middle and High School programs. And Health Science is a big field. There's always a demand for, for nurses. Tell, tell us what types of careers you're preparing students for. We are so excited to be a part of career and technical education and a learning community that just promotes students and giving, gives them the opportunity to get a glimpse into the, their future careers. Everything from sports medicine, dental, physical therapy, pre-med, and nursing. Okay, and I know that we were talking earlier about the fact that our students earn about 12,000 career credentials every year, and one of the big ones is the CNA, right? The Absolutely. Certified Nursing Assistant. We are so excited to um, fully encompass all areas of uh, the Certified Nursing Assistant, along with uh, Patient Care Tech, and our newest one is the Certified EKG Technician. Oh, wow. And I was reading something about one of our recent graduates from Viger, and she had the CNA, so she was able to work in a hospital while she worked on her RN degree. Is that what happens a lot? Or? Absolutely. Um, our goal is to make sure that we're giving our students the opportunity to not only um, get a glimpse into hands-on skills, leadership and development, but to also make sure that they are able to transition whether, whether or not it's into the world of work or into post-secondary education. Okay, and I've heard about Project Lead the Way, but I'm not familiar with it. Tell us what it is. Um, for Project Lead the Way, we have middle and high school programs. Our middle school programs are called Gateway, and of course we have um, just about maybe five or six schools that are um, utilizing that curriculum. Um, the students are allowed to get a glimpse into their future career choice. It's uh, project-based um, learning activities, and they also get to participate in a variety of competitive events. For high school, we want those school students, I'm sorry, in the middle school programs to be able to transition into the high school programs and 
farther a look into uh, post-secondary opportunities in engineering. So problem solving, engineering, great skills to have whether they go into those fields or any fields. Absolutely. So Lieutenant Colonel Barrow, how are you? Great, I'm glad to be here this morning, thank you. Good, so you have JROTC, which is a pretty big program. How many students do we have participating we, in that? We've got just a little over 2,000 students participating in JROTC across the 12 high schools that we have. And of course, we're predominantly Army programs, but there is one Navy program at Davidson High School. And you actually reach down into middle school now, right? Well, we do. At, at Davidson, uh, we were allowed under an eighth grade initiative to allow students where they're co-located. And as you know, uh, Denton Magnet School is co-located with Davidson High School. And that's been a big success. A lot of those eighth graders have joined our team and are doing very, very well in the Navy program there at Davidson. So I, I think of leadership when I think of JROTC, but tell us what are students learning in your program? Well, we are a premier leadership development program. Of course, we focus on citizenship, but we're a lot much, we are much more than that. And we've become so over the last few years here in Mobile County, especially. As you are aware, we, we, are, we focus so much on our employability skills, which are essential to our business and industry partners in Mobile County. But also, we've, we've dabbled into uh, robotics now. We just initiated our first drone competition, which took place last week. We concluded our third year of robotics competition with VEX this past uh, yesterday, in fact. And we've got a couple of teams we're going to send to the state competition with that as well. So we have a robust number of programs that students that are interested in, in joining us uh, can participate in. We, and we have a wide range of opportunities for kids. And in every one of those, there are leadership opportunities that they, that they can learn and, and hone in on, uh, but also being part of a team, uh, making decisions and those type of things is what our, uh, that's our expertise. And I know one thing that we at MCPSS TV love going to every year is your JROTC STEM Academy. So tell us about that. In the We're summer. very, very proud of that. This will be our seventh year this summer on the campus of Spring Hill College. As you know, the district was, was largely responsible for helping us get that program started with, with many of the key leaders on our, in our district helping us make that happen. But later, to sustain it, we received a million dollar grant from the National Science Foundation, uh, which just expired this year. Uh, but we've subsequently received a $6 million grant from the Department of Defense STEM program to continue it for another four years and, oh, by the way, spread out the Mobile County model across districts across America. So we're real proud of where we stand and the, and the uh, example we are for other programs uh, within U.S. Army Cadet Command and all JROTC programs from all four services. That's right. So what you started and your team started in Mobile County is now going to be all over the country, right? That's correct. And uh, very blessed to have such a remarkable team here in Mobile County. I will say that just about every, my colleagues that I work with every day uh, within CTE have been very supportive of these efforts, uh, but also across all the disciplines within the, within the, the district. Our leadership has been tremendous in helping us with that, as well as the uh, Army Cadet Command who saw us what we're doing and, and has steered other programs to follow what we're doing here in Mobile County. So we've got it going on in Mobile County. JRTC, very exciting, dynamic program. We do. We are learning and leading. And we do love that camp um, during the summer. Students participate in STEM activities. They repel. They do some water exercises and physical fitness. And they tour some of the local businesses that they may work at one day. That's correct. So thank you for the work that you do, um, Lieutenant Colonel Barrow. And thank you to all of our career technical supervisors and teachers who are out in our schools every day teaching our students to be college and career ready. So thank you for joining us today as we um, learned about these fantastic programs in Mobile County Public Schools, and we'll see you next time on Homeroom.